All right, so um, what I want to go over in this video is how to extract pixel values at point locations or summarize relative to areas or polygons. So we're still working with the Zurich data set and I have all my training data loaded in here which are currently polygons. So what I want to start off with is generating um, um, or extracting values at point locations. So I need to get points from these uh, polygon features. So there's a couple of different ways you do that. I'm going to use the um, feature, I believe it's feature to point. Let's see if that's it. Yep, feature to point. So we're going to input our training data and we want it to be inside. It will anyway. If you have a weird shape, um, the center could actually be outside of the shape, like a C shape or something. But since these are all circles, it will be in the middle, so that really doesn't matter. And I'm going to save this out to a shape file. We're just going to call it train as points. And save. OK, and then let's do a run on that. OK, so now we should have back a point at the center of each of these circles. So that's now going to be our point data set. And if we open up the attributes, we should have the same attributes. So for example, we still have the class and the class name and class value in there. It's just been converted to a point. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the let's turn off the circles. I'm gonna close this out. Uh, this is it. Uh, no, because I already saved it. Okay, so that that got rid of our training polygons. Just closing some windows. All right, um, so there we have our point measurements. And again, there should be 12, a little over 1,200 of them because that's how many training samples I generated. Okay, so now let's actually do an extraction. So the best tool for this in ARC is extract values at points. Well, actually, specifically, we want to extract multi-values at points uh, because we want to do more than one. Uh, extract multi-values to points. Okay, so let's uh, give. So we have to give it a point layer. We have to give it our image, and it'll do all the bands by default. So I'm just going to call it S2. So that's so all the S2. It'll be S2, and then like a band designation will be the attribute column name. Let's also have it give. It, let's also do the NDVI, the moisture index, the buildup index. And that's good. Let's just do those. So, and then I'm going to rename these. We'll just do NDVI. Um, I forget the name of this. I just deleted it. MNDWI and then um, NDBI. Now, remember that attribute column names have length limitations, right? Um, Okay, so there we go. So that we have our points and then our grids that we want to summarize. So I'm just going to hit run and it should go through and do that calculation for us. Okay, that was pretty quick. So now if we go into the attribute table, we now have all these new attributes in the original table. So um, Basically, we have band one, sentinel two, band two, sentinel two. So those are all of our raw bands. And then we have our indices out there. Um, so that's it. One thing you may want to consider doing if you use this tool is it actually does change the original file. It doesn't make a copy. So if you're worried about screwing up your original, you may want to make a copy and do all this aggregating on the, or extraction on the copy. Um, and then once you have that data, you can do something with it. So for example, if we go to data, I believe let's do a create chart and let's do a box plot. Okay, so let's see here. Where did the window go to do this? Properties. There we go. So th let's look at um, let's just look at NDVI. And we'll do it by the category, which would be the class name. And that should do it. So let's hit apply. 
There we go. So now we have a box plot here, so you can see kind of the distribution of NDVI by category. So it looks like um, our agricultural fields were highest, followed by forest, which makes sense. This is like an October image, so we're seeing you know some defoliation and stuff. Developed was lower, water was really low, and barren was low, right? So that makes sense. Let's look at the water index. Okay, so for the water, again, the water's really high, barren's kind of all over the place, and then you, those aren't that interesting. <laughs> and then this last one is that buildup index. So you can see that that, that buildup index didn't do a good job of separating out the barren and the developed, but it did separate those pretty well from the like uh, vegetated and water classes. And you can also obviously look at individual bands. So if we looked, for example, at band seven, which is the in the uh, near infrared, we can see the distribution there in the near infrared. Okay, so anyway, that's summarizing on point features. Let's look at summarizing now on polygon features. So we're going to go back now to our original training data as opposed to the points that we created from them. And then we're going to go into we're going to look for a tool called Zonal Statistics as Table. There we go. And, I mean, you grab it from either of these. It's the same tool. It's just cross-listed. And Zonal Stats as Table. So our zones in this case will be our training data. And... Uh, yeah, I guess we don't really, we just want, we want, uh, well, let's, we could summarize it by type. Well, let's just do FID. That means we'll get a, a, a result for every unique object. We look also aggregate like by, uh, by like type or something. Um, and then let's do our NDVI. And then we'll just call this NDVI as our table output. And then you can pick your statistics you want. So I'm just going to leave it with all, so it'll do all the statistics. And let's hit Run. One thing you should know about this tool, which is a little different from the Extract Values at Points tool, is it only does one band at a time. So you can't get it to do every single band at once. Um, you'd have to do it separately. OK, so we open that up. So now we have a table. So we have each of our um, unique IDs, and then from the NDVI data, we calculated the min, the max, the range, mean, standard deviation, sum within all of those. And again, if we wanted to, we could do some analysis with that, just to, or just data visualization. So, for example, we could again make a scatter plot, and again, we're going to go to properties, and oh, actually, we don't make a scatter plot. What am I doing? We want to make a box plot. So. Uh, go to box plot again and properties and again we'll, let's just do the mean and by oh I can't do that in this case because I don't have the um, attribute um, I don't have the class field um, so we actually can't do that in this case Okay, I mean, we so if we wanted to, we'd have to uh, pin back on the uh, the class name. So we could do that real quick. We could just do that with a simple spatial. Actually, we can't do a spatial join. We have to do it with a join. So let's do a join real quick, just for the heck of it. So I'm going to do go into our. I guess I'm going to do training. And then we want to do a join, so join and relates, add join, and then we want to join using the FID, which is the common field. We want to join it to the um, NDVI table, you also using FID, and hit OK there. Now if we go into this table, we should see that summary information out there on the back end. So now we could actually do our table and we because we have our all of our information now in one place. Also, if you export this out, you can create a copy of the layer that has those new fields like associated with it. All right, so 
So the numeric field, we'll, we'll do the mean. And the category, again, will be our class name. And that should do it. So there we go. And then we get another box plot out from that. So in short, if you want to summarize data relative to polygons, you can use zonal statistics as table. The, issue, the one issue with that is that it only works um, band by band, so you'd have to do band separately. If you want to extract data for at point locations, you can use the extract multiple values, the points tool, and that'll do all the bands at once, and also you can do multiple layers at once.